Hi there, it's Wednesday the 29th of April 2020 and this week we're looking at conversations with God, in particular the conversations which Gideon had with God as written in the book of Judges in the Bible in particular in chapter 6. Gideon was being honest with God in his conversation, he was being chosen by God through his conversation and today we're thinking about the fact that he was being made aware of God through his conversation. I'm sure you've had conversation with people that you didn't know and through your conversation or series of conversations with that person or those people, you began to get to know them. Perhaps new work colleagues, perhaps new neighbours come into your street, perhaps somebody's come into your family or perhaps someone at church that you've not spoken to before. And as you begin to speak and as the conversation moves from the surface, how's the weather and etc, etc and becomes more personal, so you get to know that person more and more deeply and more and more intimately. And that's what was happening here through this conversation which Gideon had with God. And if you want to get to know God, I would really heartily recommend that you have conversations with God. It's a great way to get to know him and to become more aware of who he is. Gideon began by not knowing God. That was his starting point. He was part of the Israelites who were in their nation and it had been overrun by the Midianites and they were living in fear of their lives. And Gideon felt that God had abandoned him. He did not know God. He did not know God's provision in any way. God sent his messenger and his messenger said, the Lord is with you, Gideon. And Gideon's response was, no, he isn't. Where is he? He's nowhere. How is he helping us in any way? Where is there any evidence of God helping us here? And he was brutally honest with God's messenger about God. Sometimes as a pastor, as God's messenger, people can be very brutally honest with me about God. You say you believe in God. Well, where is he then? Why did he not do such and such for me or for my family or for my mum who was sick or whatever? Why is he not sorting out what's happening in the world? Where is God? And people can be very brutally honest with me. And that's quite right. It's quite right that we are that. And God encourages us to be honest. And so a starting point, if you do not know God, is to become honest in your conversation with God and tell God how you feel, what you think. Talk to him about that. He's big enough to take it. But Gideon didn't stay at that place. His conversation kept going. And I encourage you to keep your conversations going. Don't stop at all the problems that you have and the challenges that you throw out to God. Keep going in your conversation. And through God's messenger, God confirmed that he was indeed with Gideon and that he was choosing Gideon. And Gideon's response to that again was very honest and he said in verse 17, If I have found favour in your eyes, give me a sign that it is really you talking to me. Okay, well, if, if, if it is true that God is with me and God is choosing me and God is real, then give me a sign, God. When Jesus was here on earth, people asked him as well often, give us a sign, show us a sign, prove yourself. And Jesus' response to that was to say, look, I'm not a magician. I'm not doing magic tricks for you. There are plenty of signs all around if you only look. Look at creation, look at the sign of creation, the complexity of creation that can only have come about by, a by the design of an amazing creator. Look at the way how people's lives have been transformed by God, people whose lives have been in a mess, drug addicts whose lives have been transformed and changed by the power of God. How do you account for that? Look at all the millions of Christians that there are across the world who are finding real life and meaning and peace and comfort and purpose in life through God. Are we all deluded? Look at the prophecies of the Bible and how many have come true and how many are still coming true even today. How is that possible if not God? So looking for a sign will not often be answered immediately by God. But sometimes he does and sometimes he is gracious and sometimes he shows himself in particular ways to us. And he did so for Gideon. Gideon cooked some bread and some meat and presented it to the messenger and the messenger touched it and it burned up into flames as it was a sacrifice, to, as if it was a sacrifice to God. And at that very point, Gideon's eyes were opened and he realised that this was not just a messenger from God but it actually was God himself. And he says this, 
Gideon realised that it was the angel of the Lord and he exclaimed, Sovereign Lord, I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. In other words, I realise, God, that you are real and that you are here and that you are present with me. He sees the truth and finally he turns and worships God and sets up an altar. So have these conversations with God. Be honest with God. Realise you are chosen by God. And through your conversation, become more aware of God. To move from not knowing God through being very honest with him and challenging, listening to what he says, looking for the signs and understanding the signs of God that there is in the, that there are in the world all round about. And finally, letting your eyes be open to the truth of who God is. God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.